Oh Lord, okay. Hi guys, so, oh, one second, let me see. Hello, well, well first of all, hi, weekly vlog. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a mess. Um, okay, so my Waze app, I, I'm going to the play that my kids are doing at school tonight, so I needed to set a timer to remind myself when to leave the house to go back up to work so I could watch it. Um, cause it's like at an awkward time when we get out and when it starts is just enough time that I'm like, I don't want to sit up at school and have, you know, a 15 hour day. Just not what I'm looking to do. So I came home so that I could eat, update the vlog. I've read two books, one of which is for Patreon. I'm actually kind of late on this, but the live show's on Saturday, so. It's fine, but I finished Paola, Santiago, and The River of Tears. I finished this today. Um, I did like a mental health check-in, relax day with my students because everyone passed the test like the entire grade did, which is phenomenal. I'm very proud. So I gave them a day to just literally chill hello, maybe you need that day too. Uh, so I finished that one while they were reading, I was reading, and then on the way to work and therapy and all of that, on Monday I started The Other Black Girl, which I got from my library, but I realized I had a copy also from Book of the Month. Uh, so far, what I know about this one is that it is about Nella, our main character, who is working at a publishing house and she is the assistant to one of the editors and so it's very I understand where they're getting the devil meets nope devil meets Prada that's not even a thing ginger didn't you know girl I understand where they're linking this to the devil wears Prada because of that dynamic and setup um, because she's working there she's the only black person there uh, on that like kind of level of working she notes she was mentioning that pretty much the only other black people are in like the mail room and custodial staff kind of things so a new person gets hired who's another black girl and so she is very excited about that but then things are like kind of tense and they're getting weird and there are these little moments where that like oh, this character or this author really is so good at creating those moments where you're like am I crazy reading into this this much or is this person have like ulterior motives and they're doing this on purpose like it's it's so good at towing that line and making you feel exactly what this main character is feeling and she is just kind of having all of these missteps that are kind of I would not say prompted by her and then she gets this note that says leave Wagner now which is the place she's working at and I think uh, I guess this must be a thriller which I didn't really hear anybody talking about the fact that this is like a mystery thriller-esque book but also I'm about halfway through and I'm really enjoying it the audiobook is so good and there are multiple narrators for each timeline that we're following because there are multiple timelines, which y'all know I love. But the most notable thing that I wanted to say before I forget is the very beginning, the opening to this book is really good. Like it was just such a good open where I was immediately hooked. Like the, that's called a prologue guys. Yeah, I read the prologue. Can you believe? Uh, but I did, and it was worth it, and maybe I'm ch a changed woman. But I really, uh, really enjoyed it, and I'm glad the audiobook tricked me into reading it, because this is going really well. So, that is what's been happening. I also started a new cozy, which is the Haunted Library series. This is the one that I'm reading. It's about this woman who moves to the town that her aunt and uncle live in, and she starts to work at the library, gets promoted, and there is a ghost of a librarian past that helps her with some of the mysteries going on. And they are hosting this event for a ex-police officer detective, actually, ex-detective to like talk about new leads in a case that has been 
like not solved I don't I think it's a cold case but I think the people are like we're done hearing you just talk about it but he thinks there's a new lead now people are interested again so he's going to give a talk and then another one bites the dust and it was a pretty good start I really am enjoying it I'm about like 40% in so I'm 50% into the other black girl 40% into my cozy it's a good duo um, I'm not going to get any reading done tonight, though, because of the play, like I said. But I have two packages, one of which is from Macmillan, which I don't think I requested anything. So I don't know what this could possibly be. Honestly, I'm still just waiting for Fairy Loot to freaking mail out the Kingdom of the Cursed and now our Violent Ends. So I can read it. I'm kind of bitter that I feel like their books take a long time to get out. Okay, so this is pretty. I do enjoy. Can you even see that? This packaging. I still don't know what it is. So let me put that aside. Robin Hobb. <gasps> the Black Tongue Thief. Wait, I think I put this on my... Oh, did I request this? I don't think I did. Oh, there's a cat. I'm already here for it. When does this come out? This comes out, oh, it already came out. What's happening? I have a note. Our most esteemed debtor. So is this about an academy? I saw someone just say that this was really funny and they liked it a lot. And I was like, well, I like funny and I like things that people like a lot. So let me add it to my list. Well, I guess let me actually, as we are discussing this together, hello, hi, how are you? Take it off of my Amazon list so my family does not accidentally buy it for Christmas. Okay, we are good now. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is another mystery. Nope, it's surely not. I even said that like I really meant it. Actually, towards the end, you could tell I did not. Uh, this is a fantasy that is in line with Kings of the Wild and Joe Abercrombie, which honestly, the only reason I want to read Joe Abercrombie's books is because the last name. I won't lie to you. It's a little 400 page book. All right. I really like this cover. That was the thing that got me whenever I first saw it. I just think it's got such nice details. And also, I love it when books have details like that. Okay. Man, we're hosting my mom over for Thanksgiving and Lord, I have to clean so freaking much y'all. It's not even funny. Okay, now I have this Amazon package, which I don't know what this is. And honestly, it may be me. Oh, no, it's not me. Haha, -ha, that is something for a video that I'm going to be doing soon, which actually I'd like a, a little bit of your insight on. So, for Vlogmas and December and all of that, I'm trying to also space out the vlogs with some sit-down videos for those who prefer those. And then also, you know, I prefer not <laughs> posting and editing every day. I'm just going to be really honest with you. At least, like, if this, if Vlogmas happened in a month where I didn't have a job at all, I had the break, I would so do it. I'd be so on it. But, um... I have a job unfortunately so that's not the case but I'm going to be getting rid of this reading chair and what I mean by that is I'm gonna be moving it into my partner's office and then they're gonna have like a two chair set up yay but I'm gonna set up a like cozy reading corner nook thing and that's gonna be a video that I do on its own which is what that thing was and then this other huge piece that I'm looking at that you can't see. And then I was thinking I want to do read with me videos since I don't do reading sprints on YouTube. I do them on Patreon, but I don't do them on YouTube. And I think that I'm going to do 30 minute ones. I think that's like a good time. And I'm not going to put music behind it. I'm only going to put like fireplace or rain ambiance because that's pretty neutral, pretty calming. But uh, as you can probably hear, in this freaking clip my neighbors are really annoying and loud and they just like are outside talking all the time so i can't do actual ambiance from me but um next up more novel wix candles don't you love to have a weekly novel wix moment because i do hello please open i'm gonna have to tell the builders hey i need a candle room <laughs> please make it happen Actually, I think the office that I'm going to use has a pretty nice, well, it's a, it's a bigger closet than the one I have right now, so maybe I can actually have like a pretty solid shut up. 
Oh my god, this is wrapped so freaking adorably. I'm gonna cry. So, hi, if you didn't know my name, you also can't see it here, so it doesn't even matter. It's Olivia. <laughs> I just like the way that she wrote it. Oh, it's a Christmas card. I don't even like Christmas cards like that. But I'm going to put this on the fridge. My partner's going to get home and be like, who, who is that woman and that child? I'm going to be like, they're my friends. All right, all right. Let me move this all out. I kind of don't want to even open it. Like, I kind of want to keep it in here. Let me, I guess I'll just show you what this all looks like because I kind of want to open it as I go. Um, I'll link to her Instagram so that, oh, hello. Why don't, why, why would I keep the camera on me when I'm talking? Why would I not just face it somewhere random? I've been doing this for three years. Obvi. Say hi to Jake. There is this and there's a child screaming in the background. I am in love with this. This is so adorable and the way it's wrapped i can't wrap presents so i really don't want to unwrap these i'm gonna message her and see if it's okay if i like do these one a day because i'm doing vlogmas did i mention i'm doing vlogmas and then we could unwrap it'll be two days per vlog that i put up so it's really every other day miss but that doesn't rhyme does it no it doesn't so i'll see if it's cool if i can just like unbox two of these every day that could be like our thing well i mean it would start on well we have 12 days left but still this is so cute and i know she put it up on her instagram so you can check it out but i'm gonna send her a voice message and see if that's a thing i can do if not the next clip will be me unboxing this but yeah i love it i'm gonna go eat now because i am sorry <laughs> Hello guys, happy Friday. It is the day that I am no longer having to have an alarm to wake up the next day. I wanted to update a little bit of things. So when it comes to Spin the Dawn, I wanted to update. Someone commented the exact thing that I said, but I was not saying it right. And this is just, it summed up even better, is that I feel like what happened at the end of this for me that doesn't make it like the like ultimate YA fantasy read. I mean, it's very YA of it to do this, but it was just that it ended up being, ow so fantasy focus at the end no it didn't opposite ended up being so romance focused at the end that the fantasy and the world building and all of that kind of started to fade away into the darkness but then the like plot twisty thing and what we found out the next book is gonna like really focus on kind of brought it back so there's that also yes this sweatshirt i wasn't influenced by chandler to buy so there's those two updates really super important ones uh next up i just finished the other black girl i finished that this morning on the way to work as the audiobook for my library definitely pick this up i can totally see why this is related to both of oh lord what is it the devil wears prada and get out now i was a little hesitant when people like compare things to Get Out because I feel like it is one of those movies. What's something else? Like uh, Get Out, Knives Out, Oceans, whatever those numbers are. Things like very popular to relate books to movies. That's not the way to phrase that, but it's the way that it got phrased. Um, I'm hesitant to pick books up solely based on that just because I feel like they are used so much that if they have like even one element that is similar, then they're compared to for that like small little element, if that makes sense. But with this one, they're not kidding. Like it really is so similar. It's got like the setting and atmosphere of The Devil Wears Prada because it's in publishing, it's very competitive, they're assistants, they're like trying to compete for this editor's attention and whatnot, but then also the get out aspect. I can't exactly discuss because it would be a spoiler, but ma'am. Yeah, it was just 
so good. The audiobook is phenomenal. The writing style of this was done so well that I was listening so intensely. I'm pretty good at listening, um, just like in a chilled, relaxed kind of way to audiobooks and still picking up on everything. But this one, like, I really wanted to focus because it was really, really freaking good. And I was but 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 loving it. And um, I didn't want to do anything else. I was literally just sitting there like, oh my god. <laughs> like, it was so good. Um, so the writing style was fantastic. The pacing was perfect. Everything was done perfectly. The prologue, the opening was so good. The very end of this was done so well because honestly it was going towards that point of like how are they gonna end this because if they do it if they sum it up too specifically not gonna be good if they're too vague not gonna be good it was right in the middle right in the middle so good so definitely pick this up pick it up it is a book of the month pick this video is not sponsored by them but my life surely feels like it is and i just suggest that you pick it up I'll link it down below if you want to try book of the month because it, it's 10 freaking dollars for this hardcover. But um, wherever you end up getting it, Scribbs got it, Audible has it, this has it, book, what is the one that I started using recently? Bookshop.org, got it. Uh, yeah, I just read it. Do you got it? Read it. Okay, so that's what I've got here and then I got another library hold that I'm listening to currently. It is The Death of Jane Lawrence. Y'all, I'm just living out, like, a Crimson Peak fanfic thing. Um, you know that movie with Tom Hiddleston that was, like, going really well and then it went downhill the faster than I've ever seen anything go downhill? Yes, that movie. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm literally picturing that blonde main character. I'm picturing Tom as our guy. Like, it, it's, it's just going well. Uh, I love when books describe icky gory things really well. Uh, I don't know how to explain it, but I absolutely loved The Luminous Dead, which is the book that this author, uh, it's the one that I've read from them. I don't know if they've written anything else, but it was a futuristic sci-fi underwater horror. You should read it. Uh, this one seems to be a Victorian horror. This girl gets married to this doctor because she is like, listen, if I'm gonna have to wife someone, I'm just, let me make it a business situation so that at least I'm getting something out of it, which honestly, power to you, love that. Uh, and she does, and Tom's great. Kind of creepy, kind of weird, doing some weird things at night, you know, as it happens. Uh, the thing that just happened, I'm 30% in, it reminds me so much of, oh, what is it called, The Visit, where the grandparents, like the grandma's just like all of a sudden running around naked in the hallway, and you're like, Grams, what was that? Uh, very weird very suspicious, very intrigued. Other than that though, I don't really have an update for it because it's it's a fine audiobook. It's not a really good audiobook, but I don't want to purchase this book until I have read it because I'm trying to be good about that. And I don't know if this is one that I'm really going to love. I love underwater horror. I love horror that has to do with like science and futuristic things. This is none of that. So I don't know if I'm gonna like it, but it is fulfilling all of my like gothic literature student heart wants and needs. So that's a good thing. And last but not least, wouldn't be an update if I didn't have something to show you. So I actually have some nails and I have some book sleeves to show you. So let's, let's open them. Okay, so if y'all don't know, the person I pretty much get everything from is Happy Go Lovely Sleeves on Etsy. I do have a code that y'all can use. It's always in the description, so just check it out down yonder. But I got the reindeer edition of the Happy Corners, which is just a bookmark that slides on to that. And then I got the reindeer edition of the Kindle sleeve because I'm going to use it for two things. So I'm going to use it for my Kindle Oasis. Hopefully it fits well. I don't know. I actually have it in here. Let me check it out. Ginger, what do you think is going to happen? All right. The moment of truth. This, sh the Oasis is shaped different. So I, I was, I was nervous, Oh, but it fits literally perfectly. I just, oh, my heart's happy. Oh no. Oh no. This means now I have a new size of book sleeves to buy. No, Olivia. One for every season. So got to get a spring one and we'll hold off on the rest. But I am so excited to have this. It is so cute. I know I had that other sleeve that I was using for my Kindle that was like an actual case built for it. I 
like that okay. It's just not as fun as having it in this. And then I can take this stinking Velcro off and put my stickers on it again, which means I need to order more stickers. Oh no. Um, but yeah, I'm very happy that I have this. So if you would like this or you want this in a bigger size for actual books, links are down below as always. Okay. Then I have my Christmas nails I bought. Let's see if I have my scissors. I don't have any nails on yet, so let's just rip into it, I guess. Hi, I'm back. That was a lot. Let me see. Can we make this lighting a bit better? I mean, that's not a good angle for, like, my face at all, but who cares? Because we're just looking at the nails now. Oh, oh, they're so cute. So these are the ones that I plan to wear for Christmas. This is not my usual shop I get them from, but I have to say, I love these. Let's see if they're gonna fit. I'm nervous, yes they are. Thank God. I always get nervous getting nails from shops that I'm not used to getting them from, just because they all use the same measuring technique, and they typically use the same sizing too. It's just, um, Ha, how do you say, como se dice, paranoia. Let's look at them. Do you want to see them? These are all the nails I got. Are they not so cute? So these were like super freaking bright online. They're a little bit dimmer, but not too much dimmer. I was hoping that they were going to be a little bit more chill in person. So I am super happy with these. I will link this shop down below. It's They're all from the same store, obviously, because they're in the same box. Olivia, hello, hi, how are you? Uh, but yeah. I'm in love with these. And for anyone who wants to know, you measure your fingers in millimeters. It shows you how on their listings. I use salon grade glue. Like they would just use a nail salon. And I just, all I do is I buff my nails and then I use the glue. Sometimes I'll shorten them if they, cause they grow a lot underneath these. Um, and I get typically medium coffin, but honestly in the summertime, maybe I'll go crazy and get like even longer nails. Even longer than coffin. Even longer than medium. I don't know. Probably not because then I can't dip it tight. But yeah. These are the new nails that I need to go organize in my nail. Anyways, I am going to update you on the last freaking book that I forgot about. Crown of Guild and Bones. So I think I'm actually on chapter 12. Let me see. Yes. Because now the trees are doing some weird things. So it's page 109 of this one. And um, it's all right. I don't feel a lot about it. I mean, it's, you know, it, it's a book that is way prettier than what's inside. <laughs> but, you know, it's like a lighthearted. I don't have to think that much when I'm reading this. Like, it's, man, it's like a sitcom where it's like last episode and then it re-catches you up on everything. That's kind of what it has been doing. I've noticed with this book, with this series, it either catches you up and it's really kind of like tedious, especially if you've just read the one before that, or it doesn't catch you up at all, or they're plot holes. I don't know which one it is. Either they didn't catch me up at all on things or they're plot holes. It could be either. Um, I love fan fiction. Let me preface this next statement with that. I love fan fiction. Love Hypothesis, one of my faves of 2021. But I feel like this book reads like fan fiction does because the next book typically picks up like last scene we saw in the book prior. So like if it ended in a battle scene and then it's like, and then she ducked her head down and looked up at them and was like, game on. I don't even know, that sounds like something she'd do. Uh, then it opens up chapter one with her doing the exact same thing and just keeps going from there. And then it catches you up later on and it's like, I don't know, it just doesn't feel like it's actually edited to end at good places. The more I'm reading this one, the more I'm like, let me just get through this one because I'm actually excited for the next one. And do I already have it downloaded on my Kindle? Yes. So I am going to get this picture posted, get my life together. Just kidding. That'll be tomorrow because I have reading sprints, which is exciting. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to chill. I'm just gonna like chill and like read a little bit tonight and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Okay? Okay.
I also just wanted to show this chair has been moved out. It's going into my partner's office, but I'm putting something new here. And I'm excited for you to see it, and so is Jake. Hello, hi, so I am out in the living room as you can see and uh, I did a little bit of cleaning out here today so I decided to stay out here and I have some booktube I'm watching on the TV and it's kind of gloomy outside so I wanted to see that and uh, yeah, but I am reading these hollow vows and having a great time. Sorry, the camera went out. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, reading these hollow vows, I'm enjoying it. It reminds me so much of just like a good YA fantasy, man. I don't know if this is Cinderella inspired, but it feels that way. It's about a girl who uh, is living in this magical world. She is an orphan and so whenever her uncle died who was taking care of her She got stuck with this like awful lady and her sister just got sold uh, into Faye trade uh, whatever that means and She is going to cross the portal to save her sister essentially and I just know everything's gonna kick off and I already have theories about what's happening because I just love the way that if you read a lot of YA fantasy, you know exactly what's gonna happen and like the little placements of hints and clues are so obvious, but I love it. I eat it up. I really do. Um, so I'm excited. I'm not gonna talk about it a whole lot though. Uh, first of all, because I'm honestly feeling kind of sick. I think I have a cold. Second of all, I'm doing a exclusive vlog for this one because it is the Patreon buddy read, but I just wanted to say a little a bit of my thoughts because it's Sunday it's the last day of the vlog and I am tired and I know I needed to update again I think that I've updated everything about my reading though for this week I think like we're I think we're all on the same page now I may update again later not really sure yesterday we got a tree and it is humongous uh, and I hung up some ornaments. I'm deciding if I want more. I really like the way that people's trees look when they're like super filled up, almost overfilled, but I don't like doing that personally. I don't even know if that makes sense. Like I like the aesthetic of it, but I don't want it for me. Does that make sense? Maybe. Uh, but yeah, so my partner just left to go buy groceries for Thanksgiving because we are hosting it here for my mother and brother. So that'll be in next week's vlog. And also, my best friend is currently on the way to Texas. I am very excited because that means that we are gonna meet tomorrow. So that will also be in next week's vlog and I cannot wait. Uh, yeah, very excited about that. But today, I think because I have that, I have therapy, I have Thanksgiving, I have a lot of cleaning I have to do, I have a lot of editing I have to do next week. I'm gonna take the rest of the day off, just chill, read this book, watch some booktube, hang out, have kind of a lazy day. And I'm not gonna go into my office, even though I like have a million things I could do. And I always end up doing them anyways, but right now I'm saying that I'm not doing them. Um, but yeah.
Okay, let's see if that helps. Nope, not at all. Great, good start. <laughs> Here we are, we have it. Where's a good angle for this? It's nowhere. And it, we're just gonna start the freaking vlog. How about that? Okay, hi. <laughs> How's it going? Um, it is Monday and I just got out of therapy, so in the zone. Um, I'm going to put on an audiobook. Please don't pull it next to me. Oh, thank you. Okay, I'm gonna put on the audiobook for The Death of Jane Lawrence. I'm still reading this one. I'm like 30, 40% into it. So I'm enjoying it. It's gothic, it's weird. It reminds me of Crimson Peak, just the vibe of it. So I'm enjoying it, we'll see how that goes. Also, I'm reading physically these hollow vows, but I won't be updating it in this vlog. There'll probably be B-roll footage of it, but I'm I'm not gonna talk about it at all because I have a whole separate one for my actual reading vlog for it. Someone just pulled in right now and I'm already committed. I'm already holding the camera. This is so embarrassing for me. Like I oh my god. Eye contact was made. Honestly, I think the power move is to keep going, so I'm just gonna keep going. Um I am currently when we start my car on the freaking way to pick up B <laughs> from their hotel because we are gonna go hopefully get some margaritas and read some freaking books no we're just gonna go buy books we're not gonna read them because we're booktubers we don't actually read and uh, I'm excited about it so I'm gonna take y'all along I don't know how much we're gonna vlog because honestly I'm probably just gonna be screaming because we're meeting you know for the first time ever <sighs> okay but it's like a 30 minute drive so I'm gonna get started now and I will check in with you guys. I don't even know when. My camera battery is dying. Like, love a plan. been on my mind sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light hey darling we could get out of town see 
Hello, good morning. So, I have decided to make this a two week vlog again because I am so exhausted. I don't want us to go edit at all. Uh, and the vlog should go up today. I don't even know if it'll be long enough, but either way, you're probably gonna get another hour vlog <laughs> next Tuesday. So I, I feel like people will be happy about that. Y'all seem to really like the longer vlogs. Like that vlog has done better than every other vlog <laughs> I've put up. So uh, it'd be awesome if you would let me know down below. I'm gonna put up a poll on the community tab anyways, but I'll still say it here. Like, if you prefer those long ones or not, um, I will do, you know, shorter ones throughout December because of Vlogmas, but uh, I like doing longer ones. I just have been cutting them down a lot because I figured people didn't like that long. But, you know, it's only a 15 minute difference than my typical ones, so. Also, Ginger is eating back there, but she is still congested. We're still giving steroids every day. I think... I think it's gonna be like a rest of life thing is what the vet was saying. But don't wanna update too much about that. I do wanna say, yesterday I did not get a whole lot of footage. I mean, I got footage. I didn't get a whole lot of talking footage because B and I were just running around that Barnes and Noble and Cheesecake Factory and it was so much fun. But now I feel like, um, now I feel like I'm 26 and I need to sleep for like a whole day. Also to be fair, I'm in the middle of whatever this head cold thing is, so. All of that to say, we are going to go to the grocery store tonight. Um, I'm a grocery store morning person, like I'm talking as soon as those doors open. I like to be there just because I like to get it done. Beginning of the day, I accidentally slept in. I usually wake up at like six. I woke up at eight today. I was like, girl, are you okay? We're not okay, like cramps galore, okay? So we're gonna go later tonight, which my partner is way more in favor for. I get it, I get it. So, there's that, but between now and then, I'm going to be flying through these hollow vows. I'm completely obsessed. At the very end, I will tell y'all like what I think of it, wrap up style, but like I said, that vlog will be a separate entity of its own, and you can check out the link down below if you uh, care about that, but I'm completely obsessed with it. I'm not even gonna lie to you. As far as what else I'm reading, I don't really know what I'm gonna read just yet. I'm kind of focused on that book, and then once I finish it, I think we'll we'll go in and we'll pick what I'm gonna read. I know I'm still listening to the audiobook of The Death of Jane Lawrence, so if I end up just chilling on this couch playing wordscapes and listening to that, that may be that may be what happens. Uh but yeah, we'll we'll just have to see what I'm gonna read in between now and Ice Planet Barbarians on Saturday. <laughs> Whatever it is, it needs to be low-key and I need to chill because I'm trying to not keep this sickness going on. But anyways, ginger on the counter. The disrespect that I face. I'm gonna go now, so Hello vlog, how's it going? Um, I'm just here to update that I am almost done with the death of Jane Lawrence, which is great. I just filmed two videos and I'm honestly kind of tired. I need to edit one for Sunday, so I'm probably going to cut this filming day short, but really quick, in the middle of this incredibly long video, I wanted to come on and show you guys this bag that I just got in the mail and I am in love with it. So I don't know if y'all remember, but when that fridge company reached out to me, I was like, hey, do you want a mini fridge? And I was like, oh my God, absolutely. I'd love to be a frat boy. So now I have my frat boy fridge in my office, which honestly is really funny. 
<laughs> for some reason I just think it's so funny. It really just stores wine and my partner's like bubbly seltzer drinks. That's what this is. But it was like the most random thing ever. Like I, I was just like, a fridge? Well we are moving into it. I would love a fridge. Another really random reach out happened and it was a bag company called Teddy Blake and they sent me a bag to just unbox for you guys and share with you and that's what that's what I'm gonna show you right now some b-roll of that so just while I'm showing you the bag I'll tell you a little bit about them so they are a team of Italian designers pitched from well-known luxury brands uh, Teddy Blake creates handbag designs for every style choice you can enjoy the luxury feel and smell of real leather and these bags are all created from experienced craftsmen working in the same Italian factories as other luxurious brands and following the knowledge gathered from decades of experience. Uh, these are true made in Italy bags. They use the same exquisite materials as all luxury brands to never compromise on quality. So I just thought that was really nice and genuinely this is just for my like actual review and reaction to just unbox the bag and show you guys it and so I was excited to do that because I am not a huge bag person in the sense of like names and stuff. I really don't even know that many bag names if I'm honest. I only know the ones that my brother is obsessed with because he is my mentor in that sense. I like this. I like it a lot. I think it's really cute and I'm very excited to wear it for December and January. I feel like this light beige color, that's the one that I got it in, uh, it's just really pretty and I like it and I feel like it's a good neutral. I'm into neutrals right now. It's a good, it's a good time for that. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that and now I'm going to take this giant coffee that's been sitting here watching me film two book tag videos because I don't know if you guys know but we're bringing book tags back to booktube so if you have any book tags that you have made that you want me to do or that you know are a thing literally send them my way because I want to do all the book tags I'm loving them also in December because I'm trying to do a vlogmas situation I feel like book tags are gonna be the move they they are gonna be what I need to do I'm gonna clean up some of this mess that I've made with filming those and then I'm gonna get to editing and prepping for my mom and my brother to come over tonight. But yeah, I will show you guys some of my amazing partner cooking all of this food. Like, I could never. I literally could never. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go now, so. Okay, hello. I don't know if you can hear the TikToks playing in the background, but that'd be my partner. Um, they just went home, and so now we're gonna just chill out. I am going to probably do a little bit of editing, because now that I have a laptop instead of a desktop, I can edit wherever I want. So I'm happy about that, because I can edit as the video goes instead of editing the whole video at once. And this vlog is gonna be long, so it's a good thing I can do that. I'm probably going to edit some and then I feel like just reading a cozy mystery so I think I'm going to continue on with Death Overdue which I'm really enjoying. I'm over 50% through now, really liking it. It's just a fun, cozy, cozy mystery but I really want to get it done because I want to read the next one which is Red and Gone and that is a Christmas one so perfect timing obviously but uh yeah that is the plan so i'm gonna go take this makeup off 
finally and um, settle into bed for some editing, some reading, some chilling, some water. I need water. I have not hydrated today. It's bad, but yeah. Look at the way she literally curls her tail around her feet. It is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. She's the only cat I know that does that. I just think it's so cute. She's just such a such a cutie patootie. Look at that. Look at that majestic ginger. Hi vlog. How are you guys doing today? It is Sunday. The sun has decided today is not the day that it wants to be out, but I just finished filming three videos. I filmed my December TBR, filmed a bookish ideas video, like gift ideas, and then a November wrap up. So all of those will be coming interspersed with a bunch of vlogs for Vlogmas. I'm excited for this month. Hopefully this is going up on Tuesday, which means tomorrow's December 1st, Vlogmas 1st. So much excited. Um, it is only 2.07. So I'm actually probably going to unbox this fairy loot box for you guys really fast and then I am gonna go and edit a bunch of videos and just kind of get my life together so that I can have those prepped for the week look at look at me go oh my god but I want to unbox this first because I am in love with the book that came it is so beautiful I opened it yesterday during the live stream because I just wanted to and I needed a break from my little blue aliens which we will get into in a second don't worry about that actually it make more sense to talk about the blue aliens first. So let's talk about what I have finished reading and what I am currently reading. So I finished Lore of Olympus the other day. It was fine. It was it was beautiful artwork and the book is beautiful. So I definitely am going to continue on with it. Uh, I don't think that I will continue on buying these expensive hardback. I mean, they're beautiful, but expensive editions of this book just because Zooey Mama, it's a lot. It is the Illuminated edition that I had, so that's probably why. But uh, it was it was just a fine read. I think I just need more of it to really form an opinion on it. I didn't love Persephone. I did like Hades, and I liked the rest of the Olympus crew. So hopefully, as I go on, I will like it more. Um, I do know that it's out right now, and I could read more of it now. I just prefer to read it physically because I like to take my time looking at the artwork and all that. I guess I could read it on my iPad because that thing is like as big as my freaking head. So it would definitely have enough space and room for me to see the whole thing in its, all its glory. But I'm trying to cut down on like screen time since I'm going to be editing so much this month. So we'll just see where that goes. But it was fun. I enjoyed. Uh, then yesterday I had reading sprints with Gab and Mel over on Patreon. Gab guested on our typical reading sprints that Mel and I do for the book club over there and we all together read Ice Planet Barbarians, the first book, and all together were shocked that we liked it as much as we did. When I tell you like a group that's gonna talk the most definitely would have been us three but we really didn't talk. Like we ended the first sprint and Gavin was like so can we just go back to the sprinting lane? And I think I would have definitely been down to read the second book if my Wi-Fi, my power and Wi-Fi went out. So I was struggling on my phone hotspot and of course it's the day that I'm the one hosting the sprints I felt so bad because it was a good time and they were like having a good time and I could not hear them on the live stream because my wi-fi wasn't going in and out and it wasn't working and I didn't want to interrupt but I couldn't tell when they like were talking or weren't talking because I was lagging so bad sorry if you were there to witness that but I am going to continue on with this it was ridiculous how much I liked it I filmed uh, clips for a Patreon exclusive vlog for it and I'm probably gonna end up reading the first three for that vlog but yeah that happened yesterday and now I'm working on another vlog uh, that's for my reading romance series that I've been doing and this one includes L. Kennedy books that's all I'll say but that's what I'm reading and I'm gonna basically take Monday and Tuesday because vlogmas you know starts on Wednesday I'm gonna take Monday Tuesday off of vlogging so that I can well not really because I'll be vlogging for the L. Kennedy books that I'm doing but yeah that's that's what I'm reading and that's what I'm gonna be reading tonight after I say bye bye 
to you guys but before we do that let's unbox this because like i said so the first thing that i pull out is rage of dragons washi tape which you get a little peek at the washi tape in there and that is really beautiful i love the it's not gilded i don't think it's just the gilding i don't know the shiny stuff enjoyed then this goes with this month's book i believe but it is a little travel mug and it's inspired by jade fire gold and it listen it is very cute i think it says it's a bamboo travel mug which i'm not entirely sure what that even means this little thing will not come off it though so this is what it actually looks like and then it's got that lid and then there and uh yeah i think it is really cute i need to get better about making coffee at home mainly so i can sleep more um so maybe this will inspire me i don't know but hope is always good to have right next up we have a tea towel which is ve schwab inspired which i of course appreciate because she's one of my favorite authors of all time i believe this is from vicious vengeful that whole series yes so vicious microfiber cloth and i think that it is so pretty so i do love that i've been thinking about actually hanging up those things because they're too pretty for me to use i feel like then next there is a from blood and ash book well it's not a book but it is a notebook that has like pages for book reviews in it so this is what the front looks like from blood and ash we will rise and then inside looks like this and it just has space for page count, stars, title, author, release date, start date, finish date. And it is, it is a cute little notebook. I don't know if I'll be using it. So it's probably going to go in that pile of the things I need to sell on Marikai. I think is how you say it. I'm not 100% sure. Um, and then we're just going to get right on into the book. Because honestly, that's why I'm here. Is that why you're here? I hope so. Because that's what you're about to get. The beautiful book genuinely one of the prettiest books that i have ever seen like i just okay <laughs> is jade fire gold i it's so simple but it's so beautiful like i genuinely just love this and then of course it's got some sprayed edges but then it's got this beautiful oopsie daisies hello don't look on my face please look at the book but those stenciled edges are gorgeous and i think there is a book talker that i watch you'll probably know exactly who i'm talking about because i swear everyone watches book talk now which can we just talk about like who's your favorite community on book talk my favorite is the smut and romance i don't really read it like that but they are freaking hilarious y'all like those girls i can't stop laughing they are so funny i just love them i love them all but um, there is a book talker who he's pretty, is famous the right word? I want to say he's famous to me. He's freaking giant, like a great book. Like he's just, I just love his book talk so much. I hope he never sees this video. That'd be embarrassing because I'm literally a fangirl. But he faces all of his books out so that these are facing out in a rainbow. Like that is such a good idea. I'm going to do it in my next um, book organization thing because I always wondered like these are so pretty I don't want to hide them like this spine is not prettier than this is and then if I put all of them on the same shelf it would be a shelf that's not facing the sun so that it doesn't damage it but it would be like so pretty to have like I have this one that could also already go there like what's it like to be creative I'm just wondering um I probably wouldn't do sprayed edges only because you know they're kind of plain, but if I'm doing it in a rainbow and I need more, I'll probably do it. But Fairy Loot has really been doing a lot of these stenciled edges, and so is Illumicry, and I am subscribed to both of them. So it would be a smart idea to do, and I think that they look very pretty, so I'm excited. Also, Goldsboro, who I'm subscribed to, does the same thing. So, I mean, really, all I'm finding is reasons to freaking do it. Um speaking of have i talked to you guys about the love hypothesis lately let me talk to you about our lord and savior adam um you should read it just in case you forgot that that's a thing that you should have on your radar but let's check the old to do because i think i actually finished everything you guys oh my god so i filmed my wrap-up filmed the tbr filmed the book gift filmed my vlog update so now all i have to do is film the outro and then i am going to go edit so that we will have at least three videos coming next week but also vlogs so i haven't really discussed how i'm doing vlogs if you don't care i'll say bye bye for now like
okay but for the vlogs i'm gonna be doing basically like day one and two goes up on the third day three and four goes up on the fifth day five and six goes up on the seventh y'all know who numbers work you, you know how that works so basically it's every two days is that what it would be every three days i don't know two days a piece until um the 25th i think uh but yeah i think it'll just be fun it'll be chaotic i'm excited for it i love doing it i now have like an actual laptop so i can edit as i go which was honestly the biggest challenge that i was worried about was i can't bring that giant desktop when i have to like go places so for example like when i stay late for games at work i don't have time to like come home and then go back up for the game but i have time to bring this old man up there and then we can just like work at my desk for a little bit and then head off to the basketball games and then it's a great time and everyone wins so that's the plan for vlogmas lots of editing lots of planning lots of everything but uh, i'm i'm excited to do it and i hope that you're excited to watch it and if there's anything you want included definitely let me know in the comments i'm open to all of it uh but yeah thank you guys so much for watching the emoji for today is going to be a snowflake emoji because please i would love some snow this year but just not an ice storm that was not cute fun nor fresh so let's keep that out of the picture once again thank you so much for watching i hope you're having a wonderful morning afternoon night wherever you are I'll catch you in the comments down below and in my next video which is in like two days so bye it was the night before christmas i was closing down for business in my little prison shop